down into this lugger and uh, there were some wildebeest but they were spotted at a long distance and they have now debarked the area at high speed leaving the cheetah uh, still hungry but a little bit tired so it looks like they're having a little snooze under the croton trees at the moment remember this is coming to you 100 percent live from the masai mara in kenya and this is the largest ever recorded coalition of male cheetah five of them all together the one with the collar's name is d'artagnan i'm not sure of the other four's name one or two three four and five possibly and that's quite often how these things sort of go uh, but it is absolutely wonderful to be able to spend as much time as we do with them Michael is wondering how big is the coalition's territory? Well, Michael, it's quite difficult to say. I would say they're still quite young. They haven't quite solidified their territory yet. So it's going to be interesting as we stay in the Mara and watch what happens uh, to see what size area uh, they're going to start dominating over. I would say oof, they're probably going to stick relatively to this area further down towards the Mara River and across towards the ridge. Um, so I'd say they're probably going to have a good 60 to 80,000 hectares um, of home range and slash territory. Now, luckily for them, within that area falls quite a few different females. There's two, Amani's two daughters and uh, Malaika and Musiara, all four female cheetah fall within the area that these boys roam. Amani herself is a little bit too far to the south. I think she cobalts more with the two males that are down near the Sand River on the Tanzanian border. But remember, female cheetah have a much bigger home range generally than males and uh, will cover vast distance, especially in search of mates. And uh, will cover vast distance, especially in search of mates. And uh, will cover vast distance, especially in search of mates. And uh, will cover vast distance, especially in search of mates. And uh, will cover vast distance, especially. And generally then only the most dominant of that coalition will mate. But now we've got unrelated males and will that ever so well known uh, fight over the female uh, come apparent and cause this coalition to split as they get older. And of course only time will tell and it is going to be fascinating to watch this story unfold.